One of the more frustrating behavior issues that people have with their dogs is that when the doorbell rings or someone comes into their home, the dog takes the opportunity to run out of the door or jump up on someone as they're coming into the home. I'm going to show you today how to teach your dog to stay in one place when the doorbell rings and someone comes into your place. It doesn't matter what kind of position your dog is staying in, standing up, sitting down or lying down is absolutely fine as long as your dog is comfortable. The first part of this process is to back away. I use a hand signal along with a vocal cue. Stay. Good boy. I don't reward Nathan until I'm right back with him because I don't want to break his stay. As Nathan is still complying, I'm now going to do this again and the next time I'm going to take it up a level by actually putting my hand on the door and rattling the doorknob. Normally when you rattle a doorknob, this is the signal that the door is going to open. So a lot of dogs will break their stay because they're excited about either getting out the door or about who's coming in through the door. Again, lure your dog back onto the mat, get him to stay and repeat the process. Nathan's now chosen to lie down, which is absolutely fine because he's still staying on his mat. Stay. I am now rattling the doorknob. A lot of dogs, when they hear the rattle of the doorknob, that's the cue that either the door is going to open and they could dash out or that somebody's outside. A lot of dogs at this point will break their stay, but because Nathan is still staying there and he's being really, really good, I'll go back to him and reward him. Good boy. Okay. Because he's doing really well, I can move up to the next level, which is opening the door a little bit. Again, if your dog breaks the stay at this point, just lure him back onto his mat and repeat the process. Stay. Good boy. Good boy. Stay. I repeat this a couple of times. Each time the door opens, Nathan looks at me because now he's looking at me for the cue. Good boy. Stay. Each time I open the door, I'm opening it a bit wider. Good boy. Because he's doing really well, I can move up to the next level, which is to open the door really wide and take a step back from the door. Now, at this point, Nathan just decided, well, he'd had enough. He decided to walk away. I'm not going to tell him off. I'm not going to punish him. I'm just going to wait for him to come back to the mat and just allow him to settle. Because the most important thing is that the dog is thinking. If your dog decides that they just want a little break from the training, allow them to have that break. It's your dog's way of saying, okay, I've done quite a lot, now I just need to either walk away or I need to get a drink of water, I need to go hang out, I need to lie down a little bit. Just go with the flow. The most important part of this process is really not to impose your will upon your dog, not to tell, punish your dog if your dog doesn't do well, but just really allow your dog to think and to, to learn because Nathan's in this learning process right at this moment. Good boy. Stay. Now I'm going to open the door and take a step away from it. Stay. Good boy. Yes, excellent. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, okay. Okay is a release word that I use to release the dog off the mat. The next stage of this training is to have somebody ring the doorbell. Now, as soon as the doorbell is rung, that's normally a trigger for a dog that somebody is gonna come into their home. Some dogs are very excited about it and some dogs are very nervous about it. Whatever your dog feels when the doorbell goes, the doorbell certainly will encourage your dog probably to go to the door to investigate who's gonna come through it. And it makes this whole process a lot harder. When I open the door, there's going to be nobody outside. And this is again building up the steps until we can get to the point where the doorbell rings and there's actually somebody outside there. 
So I have somebody ringing the doorbell but hiding around the side of the door so Nathan can't see him. So it makes it easier for Nathan to be successful. When you build up this cue in stages, it's much easier for the dog to learn. Stay. I'm going to reinforce again just by opening the door. Good boy, good boy, nice. Now I'm going to get Richard to ring the doorbell. Can you ring the doorbell? As you can see, as soon as that doorbell rang, Nathan became really highly charged. It was as if all this adrenaline suddenly went through his body. Who's at the door? At this stage of the process, when the dog gets a little bit frustrated or maybe protective of the house or excited, don't do anything at all, just wait. So when Nathan is calm, I'm just gonna call him to me and go through the process again. Nathan, come. Good. Good boy. Stay. Good boy. Ring the doorbell again. Nathan is quite a protective dog. He's quite territorial. But again, I'm not going to do anything. Sit. Good. Stay. Good. Ring the doorbell again. Stay. Good. Now that was hard for him. The doorbell rang and he didn't move. He did one bark and he didn't move. That was very good. That's why I rewarded him for doing that. But now still he has that desire to investigate. Who's going to come into my house? Where did that sound come from? And again, I'm just going to wait until he focuses enough to be able to come back to me. Good boy. Stay. Good. I'm going to open the door and again, there's going to be nobody outside. Good. Good. I'm going to ring the doorbell again. Stay. Good. Very good. All right, now you're going to ring the doorbell again and you're also going to be there at the door. If I tell you can come through, come through. The only time that you can come through is when Nathan is still on his mat and staying, all right? So ring the doorbell. Stay. Good boy. Okay, you can come in. Hi. Stay. Mm-mm. Okay, go out again. Good boy. Good boy. Nathan. Come. Come and sit. Good boy. Stay. Okay, ring the bell. Stay. Stay. Now you can come in. Stay. Good boy. Come in. Stay. Good boy, okay. Okay, you can go say hi. Hi. Good boy, all right. This cue is vital to teach your dog because a lot of dogs like to dash out of the door or a lot of dogs like to jump up on people as they come in. If you give your dog something else to do when the doorbell rings, they have a ritual of behavior like I have to go to my mat and stay there until I'm released, until the person comes in and I can go say hi. That means that your dog is now focusing on a positive behavior rather than negative behavior of barking, going up to the door and possibly jumping on the person as they come in. If you have a multi-dog household, this cue can be harder to teach, but you can have success by teaching each dog separately, then putting them together. Dogs learn much better when they're learning by themselves with less distractions around them. And that's how you teach your dog to stay at the door positively. I'm Victoria Stilwell for eHow Pets.